Hi guys, I um, wanted to talk the first part of what my key takeaways were from my interview with uh, Keith Kanemoto, okay? Hall of Famer, USPA IPL Hall of Famer. Uh, the first thing I want to say is that to be a Hall of Famer, not only must your accomplishments be without peer, so to say, okay? But also your contribution to the sport itself that you must have somehow through all your dedication to the sport brought it to a new level, okay? And that is a really tall order. And there you had it with Keith sitting right there talking about what he thought was important to him. Okay, so um, the second thing I want to say is that it came across more clearly than ever to me that sport is truly a way for all of us to make better versions of ourselves. Okay? And in that process, uh, leave the world a better place, okay? So objectively, leave the world in a better place because we have created better versions of ourselves and that should be the objective, okay? So, so my key, key takeaways as far as Keith are concerned are if you go down to the video number 67 below where I mentioned weeks ago, baseball hall of famers and how they tend to be hooked the first time they see the sport and uh, Keith mentions that clearly the first time he went to a meet he was hooked hooked means that when he came back I can tell you how I felt when I was hooked and um when you come back from a meet or when you're in the meet and you come back, you're a different person. It basically means that you hold the bar different. You think different thoughts. You say different things. You say things that you never said before. And sometimes you just feel um, liberated, truly freed that now there is something that you can uh, hook on to that you're truly enthralled by, okay? So the first thing is, um, in video number 67, why a non on why? And Keith kind of um, confirms that, okay? That he was hooked. He's been hooked for 30 plus years. Wow, that is something else. Not, not that long for me. Uh, but my mania, so to say, continues. So that's number one. Uh, the second thing is that for all the people getting into the sport, and it is a sport, don't be fooled by it. You're not in this, you're in the sport for the sake of the sport, okay? You're not in the sport to lose weight or to put on muscle. You're in the sport for the sport's sake, and if you are in the sport and you haven't been in that sport that long, the second takeaway is there is no substitute for experience in the sport, okay? And um, absolutely the learning of the key masters, the Yodas, if you would, okay? Um, if you can leverage them in an environment that they've created, then you will be the better off because of it. And the third key point, as far as I was concerned for now, okay, and there's a few others that I will be talking about. The third key point is after 30 years, after 30 plus years, he's going to compete in a nationals, USPA nationals. And guess what? The anticipation, the excitement, the nervousness is like he's competing for the first time. Wow. 
Now that is something else. That is an angle that I had never thought about. And when I asked to be put inside his mind, out it comes. Powerful messages. So that's what I have for now. I'll, I'm going to have a second follow-up version of this, key takeaways, because with people like Keith, you really, you know, um, you can look at this interview from many different angles. And if you have any comments, please post them below. Um, and um, as usual, I'll wish everyone uh, safe lifting, long lifting, and then heavy lifting. God bless you guys and have a nice day. Bye now.